What is up, Invisible Corporations? My name is Jimmy, also known as Jimmy Tortuga, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn, friends. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. We gotta make our way all the way up to the Grave Horde in this episode today. Um, this will pretty much cover, I mean, it looks like there's still a bit of the map over on this side that we haven't done, as well as in the middle, but for the most part, this is kind of somewhat the last area. I imagine we'll find our way back over here, maybe final boss uh, kind of area here. But we are definitely going to go to this uh, grave horde here uh, and try to try to make it out in this episode here. So I hope you guys are excited. Um, uh, we managed to make it all the way uh, over here through fast traveling, and uh, we got we got a little ways to to go before we get there. But um, yeah, in the last episode we learned about Project Zero Dawn. Uh, which is obviously the name of the game, is Horizon Zero Dawn. So we definitely need to learn more about exactly what that is, and uh, that is exactly why we're heading to this grave area. Um, so that way we can learn more about what this project really entailed. Um, so that is that is uh, definitely the goal, is to kind of get there today. Imagine we'll do some combat. Not really much story, not really... Uh, uh, too, too much going on in that regard, uh, there, but it, we, it should still be a fun episode here, um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely feel like we're, we're getting closer to, uh, to the end, but our friend is, uh, seems to be helping us more and more, not 100% sure, 100% what his intentions are, or why he wants to know all this stuff that, uh, that we know, oh, okay, nope, you don't see me, you don't see me. Didn't even see them there. Obviously, these guys are bad. Bandit fighters. Yeah, that's why. Bandit fighters. So, is what it is. So, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna do some fun, crazy shenanigans in this episode. We're gonna stealth this guy. We're gonna stealth this guy, and <laughs> they don't even—they don't even realize it. That is actually pretty funny. Uh, so yeah, we uh, we learned that Elizabeth Sobek, which is the woman that we always perceived to be potentially our mother, uh, turned out she lived hundreds of years ago in this in this particular story. But there also might be a way that she made herself live forever. And if that's the case, then she still could potentially be our mother. But it's like, it's definitely going to be, you know, interesting. I said the thing. Um, to learn if, um, you know, if, uh, you know, if she did actually manage to do that. Really, the only way that I feel like she really could have done that is... I mean, I do feel like she actually did do that, but I, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out as we as we keep going. Um, 100%. But we managed to take down the, the big uh, Deathbringer, uh, not, not last episode, but the episode uh, uh, or two ago. Um, we get a bunch of blazes. That's actually really cool. Um, I'm trying not to fight anything. I really don't feel like I've re there's really a need to at this at this point right now. Uh, maybe in the future. Um, but like I said, right now, not really necessary. Um, I'm just going to gather, like I said, some wood and uh, gather my... I need this. My my health back up, which is really really good, and we're just gonna slowly make our way over to, you know, where we need to go. Uh, that's that's just it. But it's definitely been, you know, how you say, interesting. Again, said the thing. Um. On how we go about, uh, how we're gonna be going about this, you know. Uh, I gotta get back over that way, which means I'm probably gonna need to, uh, take out this Watcher that's on my trail. Uh, alright, that's fine. 
If I can get it stealth, it'll be easy. But I don't think the Watcher is going to be any really big threat or big deal. Um, Handy. That is really all I got to say. So, Dead Watcher. Dead Watcher. So like I said, if I don't need to fight, I really, you know, I really think I'm not going to. Um, that's all I gotta say. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying not to be seen because, it, like I said, it just ends up being a pain in the butt when I just have things that just constantly get at me. Alright, I got close enough to the fire, so I should be able to, to fast travel there if I need to. I really don't need any other resources, I just need to go. Something saw me. Something saw me. I don't really need any more resources, so getting back on the on the trail. Oh, that Clint Hawks. I hate these things. Uh, but I got the rope caster now, so or the yeah the rope caster. So hopefully this will help uh, help me bring those things, you know, to to gr to the ground. If I absolutely need to. I kind of feel like I should just eat and just go. No, you don't see me. You don't see me. Well, we definitely got a lot of spaces here. Um, we see a grazer sight. We don't really need to see the glint hawks. I can't override this machine yet. I need to find a way to learn. Yeah, I'm not worried about learning how to override machines. That's not on my radar. <laughs> Pun intended, but... Pick up rock? I'll take a rock. I, I ended up using one off-screen uh, to kind of get uh, where the... Uh, one thing is, so... Where the one thing was, I should say. It's not there anymore because I killed it. I got a little too close there, but it's fine. Uh, medicine pouch is full! I love seeing that. So yeah, we're, we're still trying to figure out exactly what our connection is to Elizabeth. Because clearly there's a connection... Clearly, there's a reason why these people want us dead, and uh, I'm not 100% sure of that reason at this time, which is why we continue to play this game, you know? You know, we want to we want to continue to learn uh, of things, and why things are things, and thingy thing things, and uh, all of the above. So, I hope you guys are, uh, like I said, enjoying this, uh, enjoying this series, um... Like I said, I'm not sure entirely how much longer the series is going to be. Um, I do feel as if we're getting close to the end, though, because we've seen a, a good portion of the map. We still got a little ways to go, uh, but it should be it should be okay. It definitely should be okay. All right, so this will be this will be really good. Um, I just saw the dude there, so let me save really quick. Um, I just like to make sure that I do that because, you know, of all the things. So we have a, uh, we have a merchant here, which is kind of cool. Uh, resources, wood bundle, fast travel pack, which I could get. Um, I got a rich meat. You know what? Why not? We ended up using one to get over here, so why not? Why not? And then we'll do a quick save so I don't have to do that again. And, uh, let's proceed forward. Uh, medicine pouch full, which is really, really good. So we're actually getting there. We're actually getting there. I mean, it's still gonna be, it's still gonna be a little bit before we get there. Uh, I do plan to get there in today's episode. I mean, 500, you know, 500 steps is not 
exactly horrid, but um, it's definitely uh, it's definitely going to take a little bit. Specifically because I'm trying to be stealthy so I don't fight as much. It's like I really don't need to do that. It's just a matter of uh, seeing, or in my case, since it's so dark, not seeing where we got to go. Um, I got to go right through this grazer area, which is fun. Um, so, if we kind of stay out of their sights, we should be okay. Um, like I said, just kind of be stealthy. Again, these machine, these particular machines don't exactly cause harm. They're just kind of living life, you know, just like we are. Um, so, there's no reason to, to override them or mess with them. It's like, let them be. Um, we're, we're level 22 anyway. Uh, we beat a mission that was level 20-something. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. And, uh, we're just gonna be, you know, we're gonna slowly, we're just gonna slowly go to where we need to go. And, um, that's, that's just life. And, uh, hi, friendo. You didn't see me. I'm glad that was there right, right away because that would have been bad. Scrappers are not fun, by the way. Uh, they are definitely a strong, a strong little beast, but it's all right. Whoops, my bad. All right, so we'll let you kind of do your thing. Um, as long as I don't make too much noise, we should be good. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Excuse me. My goodness. Not quite sure where that came from. My apologies. So now there's a charger site, which is cool. Awesome. So we're getting we're getting there. Um so yeah, I like exploring the world, but I also like to be able to see where I'm going. And of course it's gotta be nighttime, you know. It's it's always gotta be nighttime. It's Exciting it's crazy. So, that's always fun. <laughs> I have 638 sticks, so... I probably don't need sticks anytime soon. <laughs> I actually find that kind of funny. So, we're actually getting relatively close. Uh, I mean, I can certainly try to... cheat the system here. Um, I definitely gotta get over this. Whoops, my bad. I wanted this. We jump. There we go. I bet you that's cold, but that's okay. Alright, we're back on the trail. So, I'm just going to kind of yeet over here. I'm just going to continuously follow this trail. So far, so good. I mean, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what else I really want to talk about in terms of the game. Because it's like... We're getting, we're getting pretty close to the end, which is definitely something uh, that we absolutely uh, need to make sure that we, that we take note on. Okay. Metal flowers. Huh. Well, why not? So, yeah. So, so far so good. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Um, I'm really curious as to what our connection is to this woman, to this Elizabeth Sobeck. It's like, I have no idea what this connection is going to be. Um, I'd rather not... I, I'd, I'd rather not be seen by the Clint Hawks. And of course, it somewhat saw me. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't see me. Um, you don't see me. I will take you down, you butt! All right, let's see if we can get around this mountain. Doesn't look like it's going to be easy, but should be hopefully doable. We'll get around this mountain to where the glint hawk won't see me. It's kind of funny because I'm much closer to where the glint hawks are, which is not what I wanted to see, but it's fine. I'm actually kind of headed in the wrong way. Bad days, one of us. Oh, whatever. I 
I just don't want to deal with them. I just, I just don't, you know. Can you blame me? I feel like I'm heading up the mountain and I need to go this way. Oh, there's thugs here. Oh boy. And we're about to reach this area here. Uh yeah, we got we got plenty of time here. We got plenty of time. Also, I found a merchant apparently, so. We're about to reach. Look at it. whoa. Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah, we're about to reach this area here, so we're gonna we're gonna take out some peoples here. I hope you guys are ready. I'm I'm certainly ready. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab this stuff. Um, it doesn't look like there's anything too crazy here. Watchers, some cult thugs. So I'll be able to knock this these guys out relatively quickly. Still gonna try to do this relatively stealthily because that has proven to be quite handy. Um, which is what I really want to see. And it'll be, it'll be super, super cool. So now we sneak, 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 sneak. Which is cool. And sound strike. Sneak, 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 sneak. Wait, what was that? Do you know what that was? Ow, pain! Ow, pain! Alright, they saw me. Alright, let's get our health back. Let's get our health back. We're doing good things. Get out of here, dude. Like, what the heck? Easy. Easy stuff. All right, well, we've made it to the Grave Horde. That was actually relatively easily. And then our new friend is going to uh, greet us here on our focus. The Grave Horde. Yep. The shadow of a metal devil. Great. Yeah, I, I noticed that. That's kind of scary, not going to lie. I hear things, and I don't like it. Well, I also see that there's a fire nearby, so... Bunker discovered the Grave Horde. Oh, dang. Explore the Grave Horde. Well, let me get that fire up there. Because I'm kind of debating if I want to start this this episode. But what are, what are all these? I hear things? Like, I'm being targeted, but I don't know where I'm being targeted from. This must be the pass that Tor was talking about. With Banuk territory just above. Right? Well, let's get let's get this fire situated here. Um, let's let's go ahead and get and at the very least get started. I know that there's a fire right out here, so let's let's at the very least get started in it. I don't want to I don't want to I, I want to figure figure out what this is, what all this is is about. You know, I feel like I'm being targeted or about to be targeted. You know what I mean? With the way the music is. Oh dang! Quick, wait. They're inside too. Oh, yeah. That'd be why I'm being targeted. All right. This is not a. Uh, this is not a horrid thing. All right. I'll get you in a second, buddy. Let me. Okay. No more speaking. 
Silent Strike. Oh, let's not get corrupted. Let's not get corrupted. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I see that now. I've, I've never gotten that close to corruption before. I will never do that again. <laughs> that was almost really bad. All right, well, there was this thing here. Let's see what this is. this one. What the hell? How? I kind of got a little cocky there. Well, I can't believe that they didn't hear me. Because I wasn't exactly being stealthy there. <laughs> so, let's try this again, shall we? Let's try this again. So, they had a frozen battle against this big freaking arm thing. I don't even know what's going on here. You know what I mean? So, do I have to play this again? Yeah, I don't need to play that again. kind of knock this thing out of our way. And then I can knock out the one guy, and then it'll just be the other guy, and we'll be good. It'll be fine. We'll be fine. As long as we're quiet, it won't see us. Let's not stay in the corrupted area until that settles. Okay. So then there's the elite cultist punisher, and then there's the cultist dodger. Get it while I can. hit the wrong button. While my stuff hurts, his stuff hurts too. I think we're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way. 
and shoot him with, uh, with some fire arrows. I am stuck, I am stuck, why am I stuck? Bruh. Ow, pain. Alright, let's get that. And we'll dodge. Haha! -ha! Saw that coming. Gotcha. Jerk. That's absolutely bonkers. Alright, well, there's this one here as well. Titan inbound, same play as Akron. Base defense locks it down. We engage, sever the limbs, blast out the fountains. Another day in the life. Arkansas, very close. Nine ten on point. Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah! Frozen in ice in time. Yeah, that seems to be... That seems to be what it is. That's absolutely crazy. I'm gonna see what you have. Just a health potion. I actually can't grab that. I will grab that though. 24%. I am not mad at that. Okay. Looks like quite an enduring victory we put our foot in today. Contact in 30 seconds. Hey, I think that's enough time for Sobek to finish Zero Dawn. There it is. If this is really it, I gotta say, it's been an honor to serve beside these tanks. <laughs> Here it comes. Grease for contact! Are you getting this, Silence? Silence? That is crazy. Yeah, I'm on top of tanks. Man, I want to continue just a little bit further for this episode. Operation Enduring Victory. What did that mean? wonder what Whatever that would was, mean. it doesn't seem to have turned out very well. Not really. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode here. Sorry to kind of end it on an uh, odd note here, but ended up dying that kind of did it. But it doesn't look like there would be an easy way to come back up. So I'm going to go save so I don't have to fight these guys again. Not that they were super hard, but it's always it's always easy. Uh, it's always easier if something does go awry down down uh, down in the, the thing uh, that I that I don't deal with this. So guys, thank you so much for watching this. Remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure to check out all the amazing content creators in the description below. We're going to see what happened with this war that happened to help Dr. Sobek hopefully complete uh, Zero Dawn here um, that eventually saved life uh, from the sounds of it at the cost of many. So we will have to see what happened here. Guys, thank you so much, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.